Hey everybody, it's Jim here, and today's a really exciting day for me. I got a new record in the mail. Now, I started to open this, full disclosure, but then I thought to myself, you know, this would be something fun for YouTube, and maybe I could even turn it into a quick guitar lesson before I talk about how much I love Butch Walker. I got a record. It's called Hey Album. This is not a new record. This record is nearly 30 years old, but it was pivotal to me as a musician, and Butch was pivotal to me as a guitar player in the late 90s for several reasons, which again, we'll touch on in a little bit. But before we get into any of that, I thought I'd give you a brief little lesson on how to play the main riff to a song that's on this called Every Monday. So I have with me my trusty dove. I haven't played this thing in a while. I thought this was appropriate. So, to begin with, we're going to be in standard tuning. We're going to start with a big old A chord. One thing I like to do, and make sure that you're doing, especially if you're somebody that's just starting on the guitar, uh, when you're playing an A chord, use your thumb here to kind of touch the E string so you're muting it. So, just a big old A. Now we're going to do A major 7. A dominant seven. D major. D minor. A major. B minor. E major. So the whole thing is Now, I've never been the biggest fan of guitar tablature. However, when I was 16 years old, I didn't know anything outside of the basic open chords, power chords, some bar chords, and maybe one or two triad shapes. So when I heard this for the very first time, I was very confused and I was embarrassed to ask questions and I did not have a guitar teacher. I said, I'm going to download the tabs or try my best to try and find them. And part of the reason why I think that this is such a cool riff is because it shows shows the power of moving just one note within a chord to achieve something that can be pretty special, although not entirely too complicated. Even if we just went from the A major to the A major 7 and stopped there and went back and forth, that's a pretty cool little transition by itself. That kind of reminds me of that song, Kiss Me, by the Cardigans, I think it was. That song was also played all over the place in the late 90s, early 2000s. I couldn't get away from that song as a kid, but it really is true. Such a little thing with a chord shape can make all the difference in the world. Now, I didn't plan for this to be a guitar lesson video or a video at all. This is all just very impromptu. I'll never forget this progression, though, and it's something that, you know, is really basic to play but it's very powerful and it just shows that you know you don't need to be somebody who flies up and down the neck and all that kind of fun stuff or write really really intricate stuff to make a kick-ass song and I highly encourage all of you to check out the song every Monday by The Marvelous 3 as well as the album Hey Album and all of their other works after the fact. But on to Butch just for a second here to wrap this video up and why he was the most important person to me in terms of musical influences. When I first started, I was a drummer, played in a three-piece. Kenny played the guitar, Fender Stratocaster. He's the one that introduced me to both Fender Guitars and Butch Walker, The Marvelous Three. And Tyler played the bass guitar and he did most of the singing. I eventually decided I want to learn how to play guitar and Kenny recommended to me this album and a few other ones to listen to and try and work out some basics. Now, I didn't know much about the instrument. When I first heard this, I was not the biggest fan of it because I was going through a very punk rock phase. I was into bands like Lagwagon, like Strung Out, No Use for a Name, and even bands like Real Big Fish and Less Than Jake. So hearing this was kind of like, this is too poppy for me. But one night, 
Kenny invited me to come and see this band, Marvelous 3, at a place called Saratoga Winners. It was a local venue. We had played this place multiple times, both with the three-piece where I was the drummer, and also later on, I played it as the lead singer and guitar player for my own band. And I thought to myself, like, why is he going to play a dump like this? I mean, it wasn't a tiny venue, but it's by no means a landmark. And it's no longer up these days because it burnt down in an unfortunate fire that definitely was not done for insurance purposes. But I digress. I said, absolutely, I'm going to come to this show. When I went, I was not prepared for what I was going to see and what I was going to feel. This band was so good. And Butch especially had this incredible charisma, this incredible mojo, this incredible talent, this incredible voice and incredible songs. He was the full package. And at one point, I'll never forget this, I turned around because it felt like I was in the middle of a gigantic arena. I had to be reminded that I was in the same kind of junky venue that I was used to playing with my little band and having friends and other people come and check us out there. And to think to myself, like, this guy has this much passion for what he's doing that it don't matter what the venue is. If people show up, it doesn't matter how many they are, he's going to give his all. His songs are awesome and he's just all in. And I was sold. I was sold on all of it. That's what I wanted to do and that's something that I continue to chase every single day that I pick up an instrument. That is just the greatest feeling in the entire world. It's pretty much all I have for you guys today. If you're interested in kind of a full lesson go over of the song every Monday or any other song by The Marvelous Three, by Butch Walker, or by anybody that you're kind of interested in within reason, uh, let me know in the comments down below. Sometimes I struggle with those due to the copyright. It might not even let me upload it in the case of certain bands like Muse. I did two instructional videos back to back in the same day when I went to upload them. It said no, not even demonetized. You just can't use this material. That kind of sucks. So we'll tread that as we will play it safe. But I would prefer to do more stuff like this if you guys are interested. Don't forget to tell somebody that you love today, that you do love them. And I will see you on the next video. Take it easy, everybody.